Right, today I'm doing a bit of um, foraging and these are hazel catkins. They're actually the male flower um, and they're full of vitamin C, um, high in protein, they carry a lot of pollen but they can be used in various ways um, for eating. They can be dried and ground up for flour um, and they're supposed to be very good for making a tea so that's what I'm foraging today and then I'll show you when we get back to the kitchen. The female flowers on the hazel. These little tiny red things. That is the female flower. Very insignificant. There's another one. And when you think this is the male, which is coated totally in pollen and the pollinating insects will carry it to the females and pollinate them. And then it's these ones that are pollinated that grow into your hazelnuts. A lot of people think this is what's going to grow into hazelnuts. This isn't, no. These are what are going to grow. And get it in focus there we go this is what's going to grow into a hazelnut and you don't have to worry about stripping off too many all i'm doing is taking from the lower branches um the higher up branches are uh, I'm, I'm not getting out ladders to go and collect some um catkins right the catkins now several hours later i think it took about six hours in total to dry them um, I've taken them out of the dehydrator and, uh, and I'm grinding them up in a, it, it's a, 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 what I use for spices and grinding up things into a really fine powder. Um, so I'm grinding them up to use for a flour. Um, they ground up really nice and you can see all the yellow pollen there which is really high in protein and um, it's there, there was pollen all over the dehydrator trays as well and there's pollen all over the side there was a fair amount of flour there um, and I've had a go at making some tea I've added some catkins to the boiling water with a few rose hips and a bit of stevia and I'm now going to enjoy my cup of tea. <laughs> 